Hi. Um, I don't really know where to start. Um, I guess I'm gonna take a, a fair bit of time off from the vlog and social media and just people in general. There's a lot of healing that needs to be done at the moment. My anxiety has gotten to the point where I can't text. I can't look at a screen some days because it's just too much. I can't. I just can't. There's too much hate and judgment and assumption based living and so much competition and so much fear and so much misunderstanding at the moment my whole life to be honest but if you're not listening to someone then you don't really know them there's like a lot of people in the same boat sometimes you just need to cry and you just need to be alone sometimes you just need to be heard or you just need a voice <sighs> The amount of people that I've reached out to in really weird ways, like I've never been good at words. And that's why I'm better at speaking on video because I blurt it all out and I can cut out the stuff that doesn't make sense to other people. It's anxiety, like it's all, it's all mental health based and a lot of us have it. And even the people that didn't have it, a lot of us have it now because of the things that are going on in the world. There's just so much anxiety and fear. And nobody's listening. Like, I am definitely never going to ask for help. Or never going to flat out say, I need you to call me. Or I need you to do this. And if I ever do, there's only like one or two people that I feel comfortable doing that. And the few people that I thought that I could apart from that lately, I know I definitely can't now, you know? And that's okay because like when it comes down to it, we all need to be focusing on ourselves right now. The only person that can help you is you. And the only person that can really help me is me. But we all need support. We like humans need to be heard. And I am a very good listener. And I think because of that, it makes people feel really good about themselves. And they forget to listen to me. It has been a very bad thing in my life. And I need to distance myself from people because of that, because I care too much. And I care too much about the wrong people. But that's okay. I don't think having empathy is a bad thing. I think that labels are a bad thing. And <clears throat> the competitiveness in the air at the moment to make just to make yourself feel better like or ev everyone I was doing it I'm not doing I'm tr doing my best not to feed into it now because it's so like it's so much wasted energy but like the labels and the competitive the competing and like it's all kind of related you know like it comes down to the not listening to someone to the to the not everyone being equal in your mind. Like if you really do see everyone as equal, then why don't you listen to everybody? Like ev you, life is a learning process and an, a horrible adventure, horrible. And it has to be horrible for it to be beautiful, unfortunately. Anybody that's gone through some things will tell you that. And they're the best people at hiding it. 
and I've realized the people that say that they're that that have the thing to prove that say it with the words they're the ones that don't have the strength because I was that I was a hundred percent that like I oh I do have a lot uh, equally as much anger and rage as I do and anxiety and fear as I do care but that's because I care so much unfortunately and um I think you do have to be broken down a bit to realize what is important to care about you know and I even up until a few days ago I was caring about the wrong things and the wrong people and even you know like just expecting them to come around expecting them to want to listen at the moment because of everything everything else that's going in, on in the world you can't focus on everything else like everyone has to just you know heal themselves as much as they can that's all we can do but if you're not listening to the people you care about because you're hurting too much that's okay but just you don't know how much they're hurting you know yeah they might be hurting equally as much or like they might be hurting more you don't know they might be hurting doubly as much there's no way to compare or see how someone is in the inside when they've been through a lot in their life and um some people see it as like you know either quirks or craziness but it's what makes you stronger and it does it you know I think the people that have been through it have obvious some of us or a lot of us at least have tried to get out of you know everything a few times but that's not the answer either yeah there's a lot of anxiety in the world but like what's your anxiety coming from you know like my anxiety comes from everyone else and I know that comes from empathy and I hate labels so like empathy is a word that gets thrown not around as much I've noticed lately empath however as the label definitely gets thrown around a lot more lately <laughs> however I think it um, I, I don't like labels so as someone who struggles with their mental health and empathy being a big trigger I think that anybody that prides themselves on you know that kind of label or any kind of label look into what it really is about it you know like do you really care about others or do you care about how those other people are making you feel and when they go away do you care about yourself more or do you care about you know do the do you care my whole life I've asked almost everybody I've gotten close to once or twice before like apart apart from the few real people that you know not many do you care about me or do you care about how I make you feel and I think that that's an important question for a lot of people to ask themselves about any relationship, whether it be friends, family, because if you're, because you might not even notice, you know, that your best friend, your girlfriend, boyfriend, mother, whoever, you know, they might be so much, in, you might be hurting them from your pain and they might be hurting more than you already and you know like they're hot they might be hiding it from you you just don't know and unless you ask and genuinely like ask about whether they're okay like that's and care like that's empathy empathy isn't about how it makes you feel empathy is is I can't you know I can't 
I can't feel my feelings over your feelings. You know, that's empathy. And I'm sick of labels. I think we should go back to verbs instead of nouns. I think that would be a great idea because, yeah, I think it feeds less into our egos. And empathy is a good thing. I think we should all work to have more empathy. I think that it shouldn't be a competition. I think that we should all care about each other. And um, I think that there's no problem with putting yourself first if you have to. But, like, also just listen to listen to those little clues from your friends and family because if they're really reaching out to you and saying weird shit that you don't understand, that might be, you know, that cry for help that they just want to hear a voice. It might not be the time that they're over the edge. They might be past that, It, but it could be that time and that might be what happens because you just never know. Um... Anyway, I'm okay dealing with all of these thoughts, but I feel like it sucks that I have to make videos to be heard because I shouldn't have to look at a screen or a camera for people to understand me properly, you know, like... People are so sped up and fast and talking and hear me, hear me, hear me that I, ha I have to make a video to be understood these days and maybe it is because I'm on the spectrum. But if, you know, if you just, if everyone just slows down and listens to themselves and each other and just, you know, that's all we can do. But I'm okay. I'm just going to take some time out and, um...